Taurus. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 70 Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, what we can see here is that there is great success waiting for you. And all you have to do is stay on your current path with an open heart and an understanding understanding that you are in the process of collecting data for what is to come that is next for what's to come next so at the end of the day what's important to recognize is to just stay really attuned or aware of the systems or the patterns or the ways of doing things that have worked for you either in the past or that are currently working try to really uh, hone in the feeling energetically of when you were feeling your best when energetically things were feeling really really good for you start to bring this back in because remember it's not about what you're doing, it's how you feel while you're doing it. The only thing that we need to prioritize right now is the energetic frequency that we feel. If we're not feeling energetically joyful, blissful, happy, peace, at ease, then something is off. And it's because generally where we're focusing or we are doing something that doesn't isn't for our highest good we're making a, a conscious choice that isn't for our highest good or even a subconscious choice that isn't for our highest good right and the subconscious mind is very interesting think of like an iceberg right how you see the tip of the iceberg at the top of the surface however underneath is this whole big problem well think of your negative thoughts or think of a negative vibration as the tip above the surface and the subconscious mind is the part underneath right so anytime we have a negative thought we have a fear-based thought it's it's linked to, su to some subconscious trauma right or some conscious thing that needs to be healed so when we can start to pinpoint when our ego rears its head or when we are negative about something beyond that negativity or fear there's this whole big subconscious thing that it's attached to so it's never just that thing itself it's never that thought itself like for instance if we choose to eat foods that we know aren't healthy for us or we use drugs or drink alcohol there's an iceberg attached to that bad boy you know what we're saying so at the end of the day when you actually look at it and you ask yourself why am I intentionally self-sabotaging my life because I know this is a lower vibrational thing that I'm doing it's not my highest choice why am I doing this when we kind of like sit back and we look at it we can really really we can realize what it's connected to and it starts the healing process because right now the universe wants you to let go of any attachments and just go with the flow with this hangman energy just be really present in the moment because remember presence is all we have we don't have past and we don't have future that's made up that's a human thing right oh we have time it's like there's no time right it's just we're here in this moment in this time and space right time and space there you go and really it's about the conscious mind is thinking about that attracts in what we want so again if your mind goes to a negative dark place or goes to a fear thought or anything limiting your conscious mind is track or your subconscious mind is attracting that in so the name of the game is to start consciously focusing into areas of your life that you find passion and joy and success in and that's all it's about right and so when we create our lives we create our lives with a series of things there's a, usually a handful of things that your spirit your unique self remember you're unique you are not the same as everyone else that's why it's really weird when we start to try to compare ourselves to others and judge our lives to others it doesn't make any sense it's weird because it's like you're so unique and beautiful to you right so the name of the game here is to make sure that you are prioritizing what is unique and beautiful for you what feels energetically pleasing for you and focus on that get better at it be the best at it uh, my you know how you connect your higher self is first of all to get lost in your art what is your art for me my art is exercise I exercise I'm in the moment I'm feeling incredible and then after the exercise is when all my downloads come in right it's not during it's after so what is that art for you Taurus where you are just lost in that moment that's when you're gonna connect and then after that comes all of the downloads right and so if you're finding a hard time connecting to anything you love because your life has been lived in a high stimulated fear-based place then that's beautiful soul where you'd want to be still that's where you would want to breathe into your heart just lay and give yourself permission to let go give yourself permission to let go all right 
because you have so many spirit guides and angels helping you and we cannot hear them or feel them if we are in a frantic state of looking at the what is going wrong, right? We have to let that go. So uh, two things you can do, right? You can either uh, surrender and be at peace or, or in terms of stillness, meditation, or you can get lost in your art, right? There's, there's two options here, right? And art could be getting out in nature. Art could be literally doing art, right? Creating art. Art could be exercise. Art could be creating a nice meal. It could be anything. Anything that you get lost in that moment and you feel so drawn to that thing. You feel so good about it. That's your art, right? So don't neglect that part of you. If you feel that's that's what it is, right? That's what the universe wants to direct your focus into right now is get lost in your art uh, or meditate uh, and let go. Let go. You're exactly where you need to be. You're getting the training for what needs to happen for what comes next, right? So for goodness sakes, take some time to play. Nurture yourself. Nurture that inner child. And remember, any time that your fear or negative thinking comes up, that's just the tip of the iceberg, baby. Underneath, that's a whole subconscious realm of trauma that's been stored in there, right? So try not to look at that negative thought. Oh, this person said this. I can't believe this. I can't even, this is what I not connect with. Whatever it is that the thinking mind does, the ego mind, right? This isn't what I'm into. I can't believe they said that. Whatever it is, right? Underneath that is the, tr is the trauma because we're not meant to be triggered by anything, right? Other beings, other people, if they trigger us, that's on us. That's not on them, right? They're trying to live their life too, right? And they're all triggered up too. So we got to take responsibility for ourselves. And when we can start to connect to why that is happening, right? And start to have more self-awareness, then we can start to make consciously higher choices. And when we start making higher conscious choices for ourselves, we reach higher levels of consciousness. And why this is important is because so many of us are walking around feeling so lost, so desperate, so unhappy with our lives because we don't have that sense of, of, of knowing, right? And it's just because, and then we don't have that sense of knowing, we feel lost, we don't feel so good. We're not honoring our spirits. We're not doing what we love. We're just sitting worrying and keep doing the same thing day over and over again, like, like human zombies, right? With the same familiar patterns, doing the same thing yet getting no different results, but hoping for things to change. Isn't that the definition of insanity, right? So the name of the game here is to stop observing your outer world. Your outer world is a reflection of what your inner world is going through. So we want to, in order to change our outer world, we need to become that in our inner world. That means we need to feel abundant to receive abundance. How do you feel abundant? Well, when you're doing something that you love, well, what do you love? Well, I don't know. I don't know what I love. I never do what I love. Well, it's time to flip that around. It's time to start doing what you love, right? Prioritizing that, focusing on that. Whatever fear you may have around something that you love will always know that your ego and fear the exact opposite is that what your spirit actually wants and why fear and ego is there is because you feel like you're not worthy enough to have it nonsense there's just some iceberg floating around with this fear and this negative thinking that is is so deep and so big that it just feels so uncomfortable to even look at so we just keep giving into the fear keep giving into the fear keep giving into the negativity that moment comes up where you know you want to make a healthier eating choice but you keep going for that processed junky nasty because it's easy it's convenient and it's familiar you know it's not the right thing but it's right there and you just can't deal with that iceberg right now well it's in that moment where you say to yourself, I am choosing the healthier and higher choice. Right now, spirit, I'm choosing the higher choice. Please give me what that is, right? What is that for me, right? Spirit will always come through. All we have to do is ask the questions. All we have to do is ask the questions and then spirit will come forward with the answers. And we see here that your higher calling is present, but right now your will is depleted. Your will is only depleted because you're focusing on the fear. Forget the fear. Forget that iceberg. Fo focus more upon the joys of your life. Stillness, perhaps. Meditation. But always know that your life will always evolve when you focus on your life, not on what others are doing. Focus on what's worked for you in the past, presently. What has worked where you have felt your best? What have you been doing? What routine did you have? What morning routine did you have? Right? What evening routine did you have? You know, our evenings set up our morning. So if we're eating late, if we're not getting enough sleep, if we're prioritizing our, our you know, crime shows as opposed to maybe like reading a book before bed, yeah, you're going to get that kind of a lifestyle. You know, you're going to get that energetic feeling. Everything has a frequency. So you got to ask yourself, is this what I'm doing right now, giving me and providing me a high frequency or am I quite literally feeling lower because I'm doing this? You know what I mean? So 
really invest in yourself, Taurus. This is your life after all, baby. And this is going to be the angel message for you today is play, right? And it's so funny because we were just saying this, take time to play. So they're saying, beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. And that's what it is about. Anything that you're looking to have evolved, it will not come from a low energetic state. So you have got to seek out in the world what increases your vibration so that you will always be guided by the flow of the universe organically and in a state of knowing. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.